Hello and welcome to Grafted Technology 2020, compliment of the new season. I hope you will be here all through 2020. Invite your friends into this um, YouTube channel and you won't regret staying in here. All right, so this tutorial is all about desktop navigation. The operating system that I'm using or I'll be using it's Windows 7 operating system. Windows 7 operating system is a GUI interface. GUI simply means graphical user interface. So a graphical user interface operating system contains graphics and icons. All right. You, I'll show you all of those graphics and icons and it's commonly navigated by using your computer mouse so you can see over here this these are your icons all right these are your icons that you can see me work with here this is an icon this is an icon the recycle bin there it's an icon so if you look here you will see that the desktop is split into two areas up um desktop is split into two areas look over here look at the horizontal strip below here as my mouse moves the horizontal strip here it is called the task bar task bar so this is where your open files and programs appear you can see that we do have um, programs open program here this is a powerpoint presentation here is a program all right it's not open but whenever you open your programs it's going to appear in the task bar over here the horizontal strip here as i hover my mouse is the task bar okay also in the tax bar you would find your start button you'll find the start button on the extreme left side of the task bar over here okay so the tax bar or oh, sorry the the start button displays the start menu so if i click on the start button i would see the start menu right which contains in the left column here in the left column it has left column and it has the right column the left column has the most frequently used programs these are most frequently used programs in the left column it's quite easy for you to all right see what i'm talking about because the left column is the white part and the right column is the black part so the white part the left column contains frequently used programs the right column provides easy access to folders documents games control panel you can see documents pictures music computer control panel devices and printers and all so all the parts that i selected are all desktop icons so desktop icons are pictures that represent application programs all right they represent application programs network and computer are some of the icons found on the desktop computer network these are some of um, the icons you can easily and recycle bin that you would easily find on your desktop one two three these are commonly found icons on most desktop computers okay so if i double click say the google chrome just want to put you through something and then the program opens up whatever is on the desktop for you to open it you need to double click double click quickly so that's a double click and then the program opens up for you you would see here to close this program looking at this part this is a close button you want to close any program then you go to that point and press 
the top left corner of the program window and then close it now your program closes you click on the X and the program closes now if you want to delete any stuff or whatever program or file or document that you delete from your computer it goes straight into the recycle bin so the recycle bin over here is your electronic trash can if you delete if you accidentally delete a file from your computer they can be restored whatever file you delete from your computer can be restored from this part you just go ahead so let me see this one if I delete this digital media right click and you click on the delete yes I want to delete so it's no longer here but it's gone to the recycle bin to restore back double click here it is click and it says restore you click on that part restore and say okay now you go again like i told you the program window click on the x to close it now going back to the desktop here is the digital media earlier deleted so it goes back to the point or the location where it was previously deleted now the next thing i want to talk about is um gadget so to add a gadget or gadgets before i add a gadget i would like to let you know what a gadget is they are programs that stay open and running on your desktop so you can see information such as weather or news headlines at a glance although you need to be connected to the internet to see the updated information so to add a gadget you go straight right click what i did is right click now you would see point your or your your mouse to gadget click on the gadget now the window appears simply click hold drag and drop whatever um, gadget you want to see all right so let's look at the weather click hold drag and drop on your desktop so it's updating cannot connect to the service all right so to close point over your mouse and point to that part where you see the X and say close now let's try something else click the clock hold drag and dump on the desktop and there it is we have the time or the clock over there now the feed headlines click hold drag and drop on the desktop it's loading few headlines can click to view headlines this gadget displays this is this okay it's not working for now now let's go to the calendar click hold drag and drop so that's how you add a gadget onto your desktop like I did say initially you want to close the program window just point to this part and click the close um, button so here I do have two gadgets on the desktop already okay I hope you do like it to take off your desk uh, the I the gadgets on your desktop like I earlier said just click the close and also you can close